to help him understand the calling of God. Now that you've been called, we are going to serve God. Are we now moving together? Now that we are called, the main issue here is serving God. So we want to see how can we serve God with an excellent heart. In the book of Daniel chapter 6, can we read together in verse number 3? The Bible says, then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. Tell your neighbor, serving God with excellent heart. Yani hapa mzee njoroge Ausukumwi wala haulazmishwi You just love to serve God When you appear in God's presence You come with a greatest concern To serve God And you cannot serve people If you don't serve God You will begin by serving God Then we serve the people That's why we have two relationships How many relationships? Number one is the vertical relationship that will help us also function well in horizontal relationship. So servanthood begins with God, then people. Tuko pamoja pale. Andika hii. Uh, what is excellence? Excellence, it simply means something good or of high quality. Excellence is something good. Excellent is something good. Is something good or something of high quality. Something of high quality. When we talk about something of high quality, it means it is something that is very well planned, organized, and done. It is of something of high quality. That is what we call excellence or excellent. In Proverbs chapter 17, Proverbs chapter 17, let us see Proverbs chapter 17, verse number 27. Proverbs 17, verse 27. I'm talking about serving God with an excellent heart. Serving God with an excellent heart. In the book of Daniel, we have seen how Daniel came up with an excellent spirit uh, which made a king uh, making a meeting and arranging on how he can be elevated to the next level so that he was to be put in a place where he could be above all the governors and presidents. In Proverbs 17, Verse number 27, the Bible says, Excellent speech is not becoming to a fool, much less lying lips to a prince. Can we read it again? <laughs> eh? Excellent speech. You know, an, an excellent speech Sio kitu njoroge unamuka tu nasema Alafu na regret unasema I wish I knew Angalia jirani yako mbe Kamu maiji pata kwa kwa statement I wish I knew Inamanisha you spoke something that is not excellent Yani usiwa izungumuza kitu ambacho Unajua utarudi kuregret badai So Inasema pale in verse number That is verse number 28 27 He who has knowledge Spares his words Sini kweli? Wanasema mtu mwenye marifa na mwenye hekima maneno yake anayachunguza kwanza. Huyu mtu ni msemaji wa machache lakini ni msikiaji zaidi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, he spares his words. Unaweza kuwa na neno mzito unataka kuiachilia kwa mwenzako lakini because of the excellent spirit and the wisdom that is in you Una spare that word. Una sema yisi yezi sema hapa. Let me allow it to be a word for another day. But now, 
and a man of understanding. Can we read together? A man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Hebu angalia jirani yako mwambie kuanzia leo E2024 singangane na mambo. Usipigane na vitu. We kuwa tuna calm spirit. Hata vitu zikichemka chemka we tulia. Tuko pamoja? Unajua vitu zikichemka na zinachemka na wewe utaisha. Stress itakumaliza na pressure itakuua. So, when things are not on your side, nini itakusaidia Edwin? You need to have a calm spirit. What is another name of a calm spirit? It is what we call excellent spirit. You must have excellent spirit when things are not happening according to what you wanted them to happen. Yeah? Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. Angalia jirani yako mambi hata kama ukuenda kwa shule utahesabukia kwa professors. Uneza hesabulika kwa professors kama mdomo yako wa yonge yonge haraka. Uju kianza kuongea ndio inajulikana oh huyu alienda shule oh huyu hakuingia But if you don't want the foolishness in us to be exposed to people we must hold on our words Kanisa hapo bwana mmenyamaza hapo Ama huwa tunaongea ovyo ovyo So even a fool is counted wise Ukiona watu wamechapa suti bwana wamekaa kwa meza imetulia wameweka maji baridi na soda baridi na kila kitu baridi vile unataja wametulia na waongei sana wakisema ukipata watu wamekaa pale unasema tumeona wasomi sita wamekaa pale kwa meza kumbe kuna mjinga mmo na ajulikani kwa sababu yeye hajasema kitu so i think i'm talking to somebody now that's why the bible says even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace ila inafanya watu wengi tunakosana na watu tunapigana na watu ni kwa sababu we talk a lot you expose your, how you think because as a man thinketh so is he and you cannot speak what is not coming from your mind because out of the abundance of your heart the mouth speaks so if you are wise you must hold on your words i declare in the name of jesus this year may the lord help us both ministers and members and everyone let us hold on our words so that we can operate in excellent spirit. Tuko pamoja pale. Eh eh. Na anasema when he shouts his lips he is considered perceptive. Eh eh. Imeisha. He is considered perce perceptive. What is perceptive? Perceptive. What is that wale was walimu hapa wanaenda kufundisha Kiingereza kesho? Umejificha? Eh? <laughs> what is that? Nana na Kiswahili, can read it for us in Swahili. I want everyone to understand it. In Swahili. That is uh, Proverbs chapter number 17. Verse that is verse number 29 or 28. 28. Give us in Swahili so that they can also get it well. Na kama bada natafuta andika hii. God has called us to serve not only to serve but to serve in excellent spirit. God has called us to serve in excellent spirit. Excellent spirit. Ye nasema pale kwamba hata mpumbavu akinyamaza. Uhesabiwa hekima. Akifumba, akifumba midomo yake huhesabiwa ufahamu yeye huhesabiwa ufahamu eh yani kwamba anajua bwana asifiwe sana so andika another point i'm talking about serving god with excellent spirit okay he has called us to serve him and to serve his people god has called us to serve him and also to serve his people. It is very important church that as we serve God, let us not forget to serve the people of God. Like what we are doing here today. When I'm teaching you, I'm serving God, I'm serving the people. And also do the same. The Bible says and Paul told 
Timothy that these things that I'm bestowing upon you, you need also to give it to other men that will also allow to pass it on to others. That is what God is looking for. So we must serve his people and we must serve himself. Another point. I'm talking about excellent, serving God with excellent heart. The quality of our service is determined by con condition of our heart. The quality of our service, the quality, the quality of our service is determined by the condition of our heart. As leaders, as we are serving God's people, the quality of our service is determined by the condition of our heart. Angalia jirani yako mambie, unapotumikia mungu, mungu ataangalia moyo wako. Hali ya moyo. The condition. Why are you sweeping the church? Are we together? Why are you sweeping the church? Are you sweeping the church to be seen by people? Or are you sweeping the church because you love God? Why are you coming to the church to please pastor or you are coming to church because you love God? Are you coming to be part of the praise and worship team to please a man of God or you are doing it to please your God? Those are the things we need to ask ourselves especially when it comes to serving God. So, the, it is one thing to serve. Are we together church? It is one thing to serve. It is another thing to understand the condition of your heart. The condition of your heart is very important. So, he says that we serve him as we serve others in excellent heart. God says that we need to serve him as we serve others in excellent heart. So, you can write, you can't serve God without excellent heart. You cannot serve God without excellent heart. You're doing things in the house of God to please men. It is over. Tell your neighbor, it is over. It is over. The time now we are living in, we are doing it for the sake of the kingdom of God. And therefore, the condition of our heart determines the type of service we are giving to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you ready to serve God or to serve God? Just people only. And this is because this is because it is the highest form of serving. What is the highest form of serving? Serving God with excellent heart. That is the highest form of serving. It is not just serving to finish. We are not serving just to finish the service. We are not just coming here to hold our hands. We pray. We dance, we worship, we praise, then we go home. No. Everything must be done with excellent spirit so that we direct it to God as we serve the people. Praise the living God. In the text above, in the book of Daniel chapter 6 verse 3, we see that we discover that King Darius wanted to lift or to elevate Daniel. King Darius wanted to elevate Daniel. Now, when we read the Bible, we see there is a reason why Darius wanted to elevate Daniel. Why was it that, uh, what made Daniel to be elevated by Darius? What was the main issue that Darius saw in, Devi, in Daniel that why he wanted to elevate him to a next level? What was that? He had an excellent spirit. What is an excellent spirit? What is an excellent spirit? Kuna mtu anasoma pande ina nimemwona. What is an excellent spirit? Eh, unasoma. An excellent spirit. Giving something that is good and of good quality. Of high quality. That is excellent. Bwana asifiwe sana. Another point here. Another point here. Ah. Uh, 
He had an excellent spirit that attracted him to God and to King Darius. He had an excellent spirit that attracted him to God and to King Darius. Now, listen to me, church. I pray that even all of us that we are sitting here, everyone has a place that you're going to work tomorrow, apart from those that do not have a place to go. But if you have a place to go, when you enter into that office, when you enter into that company, this is our prayer today. How many people are praying that prayer today? When you enter there, may you serve in that place with excellent spirit. Until when you are absent, people must know that you are not there. Because you are very important in that company. So, poke your name katika jina la Yesu. May God give you that spirit. Usiwai pewa kazi unaifanya na umekasirika. Unaifanya na unanungunika. Unaifanya na unasikia uchungu. Can I give you a revelation there? It means anything you will get from that place, it will never profit your life. But if you want to receive anything good from what you are doing in that particular place of work, you must serve diligently with an excellent heart. That one will be very clean to you. Ata kama utapata shilingitano pale, it will be profitable for you. Never do something as you complain. Tuko pamoja? Never complain. Some of us niliwambia last year, nikawambia, even the type of pay we are receiving from companies, ukiyeka kwa mkono na mnaivi, the first thing you do, it will affect it either negatively or positively. Kishika tukwa mkono na mnaivi na useme, ah, Ata ita nisaidia na nini. Ivo tu, umemaliza. Ngadi ya jirani yako mambio umemaliza. Ndiyo mana hii kitu na meza yote, hakuna kitu mefanyia. It is because you curse it before you use it. But you must accept it because that is the excellent work you did. Accept what you receive from that place and thank God. The Bible says, you must give thanks in smaller things. You must give thanks in everything. In everything, whether small or big. Give thanks. Why do we give thanks? Because we could have not received it or another person somewhere does not have it. But you have it. So you must give thanks to God because God has done it to you. And that's why I pray for you in the name of Jesus. This year, may the Lord help you so that when you work in that company, in that particular place of work, May the Lord give you profit so that you can also have a benefit this year. Bonus for your son. May you count your blessings this year. But if you want to count a blessing this year, you must operate in excellent spirit. If you get 10,000, you must also with excellent spirit give God his 1,000 shillings. Bila kumunungunika. And you must also Appear to the working place on time. Serving. Serving needs an excellent spirit. In any given field, excellent spirit will open ways for you. Amen? Praise the Lord. And also, uh, and as a result, the king preferred him above the presidents and the princes. Write something down. An excellent spirit elevates a man. An excellent spirit will always elevate the man or the woman in charge of. When you have the excellent spirit, you will be elevated. Ukiwa na roo kama hiyo, utainuliwa. An excellent spirit will always help you to be elevated. It will help you to be elevated. Very important. An excellent spirit will help you to be Elevated to the next level. Hata ukiwa hapa, hakuna siku uneza inuliwa juu unless you have an excellent spirit. Usiwai fanya chochote na rongumu. Accept and do it with excellent spirit. In other words, you must give your best. Give your best. Give your best, which is the good of all. Bwana Sifio San. Praise the Lord. Are you there? 
So, uh, his, his heart won the king's attention. His heart wants king's attention. And an excellent spirit will open favor for you. An, an excellent spirit will open favor for you. An excellent an excellent spirit opens favor to you. All the favor that we are looking for, we must have an excellent spirit. Utenda mbali sana. Na utakwama. You cannot reach at a place ukakwama. Alafu andika, his master was pleased by his unusual spirit of high quality. His master was pleased by his unusual spirit of high quality. His master was pleased. Andika hivi kwa fupi. An excellent spirit an excellent spirit will help you to please your master. It leads you to please your master. They will see the importance in you and the way you do things because of the excellent spirit. Because of the excellent spirit. And also an excellent spirit leads to the fear of the Lord. An excellent spirit leads to the fear of the Lord. So if you have that spirit, you will have the fear of the Lord. Because you are doing things according to God's will. And also you don't only do them, but you do them according to high quality. Kama ni kumtumikia mungu na mtumikia kabisa. Like what the Bible says that let the Sabbath day be made whole. You know, the Sabbath day, some of us, we appear like three hours to make him be kwa kazi zetu. You are not giving God an excellent time. So, but I thank God for you. For from this, uh, uh, since we began this year, I have really seen a great change in some of you, apart from few. But you are one of the people that uh, you've decided to give God some good time in prayers and in doing his work. And I want to tell you that you are laying the right foundation and foundation determines the building. The far the building will go, it, det it, it determines how the deeper the foundation is. So if my foundation is right, I shall have the right life in year, the year 2024. son. So you have a good, year, a good year full of blessings of the Lord because of excellent spirit. That one will happen to you. Na naomba kwamba wenye mmeketi hapa na mkona hiyo ronzuri kama hiyo, unafanya kazi na romoja bila kusukuma wala kusita sita. May the Lord uplift you. May the Lord uplift you in that particular point. Amen. Alafu, inasema kwa, we, we also uh, see that the quality fear and, and his excellent heart. Uh, if we serve God with excellence of the heart, we attract more blessings from God. If we serve God, with excellence, we attract more blessings from God. If we serve God with excellence, we attract more blessings from God. Why? Because the blessings of God comes to you because of the time you take to serve God, to seek God. That's why the Bible says seek God, seek the kingdom of God first and its righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. So when you find place in God's presence and you serve him well with excellent heart, this is going to help you receive more blessings. It will help you to receive more blessings. Praise the living God. And that's why when we talk about blessings in Deuteronomy chapter 8, is it chapter 28? Let us see in chapter 28, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, let us see from verse 1 in Asemaje. Uh, we are talking about serving God with excellent, with an excellent heart. Serving God with an excellent heart. 
in Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. I'm almost done. The next, give me like five to six minutes. Can we read together, church? It shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the, of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Uh -huh. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shall hearken unto the voice of thy Lord, thy God. Can we go to verse number one? I'm talking about if you serve God with excellent heart, he will bless you more. He will give you more blessings. And it shall come to pass. If. When you see the Bible, when you read the Bible, you see the word if. If, it means it is a condition. It is a condition. This is a condition. If you do it, it will happen. If you don't, it will not happen. So when you see the word if in the Bible, it is an opportunity. That is an opportunity. Just make a decision of doing. Because the Bible says, if. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, thy God. Yan hearkening diligently is taking time, high quality time, listening from God. You must pay attention to listen from God. You must hear the voice of God. What will happen? To observe and to do. You know, he's in stages. There is what we need to know here. The first thing, because we are talking about serving God diligently. The first thing is to do what? Haken. Hiyo ndiyo ya kwanza. Ukitoka kwa haken ingi nasonga wapi? Then we go to observe. Then from observe eh? and do. Kumbe muna niyona muna ona vizuri, sindio? Number one ni haken. Then two, observe. Then do. Now, the problem is, do we have the third one? Eh? And do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Above all nations of the earth. So maneno, maneno mangapi inenda kuleta katika kiwango cha baraka mingi? Maneno mangapi? Jambo la kwanza? You must sit down to listen. Angalia jirani yako mwambie shide nyuko nayo unakimbia haraka wewe unasahau kusikiza. Muongeleshe mwambie wewe unaenda haraka. Unaona kwanza ikifika tu mahali pa kusikiza neno la Mungu watu wana haraka mingi sana. Speed ni nyingi duniani hapo. Unasikia mtu anagonga sana sema ninaitwa kwa chama mwingine anaitwa kwa mpira mwingine anaitwa enda kuona Chelsea na Manchester United mko hapa ninawajua alafu kuna mwingine naye nakimbia sijui wapi so unapata ya kwamba hii time ya Mungu ni kidogo sana eh mbona unaguza mwenzako bwana so hapa lazima you hearken you must have time you must give the quality time angalia jirani yako mwambie hii mwaka wa 2024 tafadhali patia Mungu nafasi mpe Mungu nafasi and your life will never remain the same because God is going to shape some of us into a better vessels. Are we together? You saw what happened here in the morning. The Lord has been shaping lives of people. And that is not enough. From Sunday, God has been shaping our lives. And before we go to the end of the year 2024, Mungu aliniambia the, the year of Exodus. Hapa kutatokea maneno. Na wewe ukibaki nyuma, wewe ukisikuja tareta fast kama Mungu atatufikisha kule kutuambia, wapendo nimekuja tu kuvuka. Yani hii mwaka imenitesa wapendwa. Wewe teseka peke yako. Lakini hii mwaka ine, watu wanaenda kubarikiwa kwa hii mwaka. Ibu zalimia jirani yako mwambia mimi naenda kubarikiwa kwa hii mwaka. Wewe kujipanga na ushuhuda ya mateso mwisho wa mwaka. Wewe jipanga pange na ayo. But miss jipangi na ushuhuda kama hiyo. After, let me tell you something. Last year, God answered all the prayers I asked him. Sasa kuna muta manza kunionea uivu wapa jamani. <laughs> 
God answered. There are things in the Mungu naomba unifanyie hii, unifanyie hii, unifanyie hii. God answered it. Mimi sina manunguniko na Mungu. I really appreciate him because he did all that I asked for him to do. It. Wewe kama una ushuhuda ya kusema sijui mwaka ilinitesa sana. I am here to tell you the truth. Mwaka ina mikono, mwaka ina miguu ya kukutesa. Ni wewe ndiye hujakuwa na idea nzuri kwa mwaka yako. Hebu guza mwenzako mwambie wewe hujateswa na mwaka bwana. Usidanganyie mwaka imekutesa. You know a year is 365 and a quarter days. Na Biblia inasema jua linatawala, linawaka kwa mjinga, linawaka kwa mwerevu. Na tena mvua ilinyesha kwa mjinga na mvua ikanyesha kwa mwerevu. Sasa ni nini ilifanya ukakubaki kuwa mjinga? Nini ikafanya ile akabaki kuwa mwerevu? Ideas. Sanimia mwenzako mwambie sasa kuanzia leo usikue mtu akutembea ukiambia watu wapendwa mnikumbuke. Mnikumbuke ninapitia, ninapitia. Na unajua kila mtu anapitia. Guza mtu mkono mwambie kila mtu hawa jamaa wanapitia bwana. Kila mtu anapitia. Ni vile tu ajaanza kukuambia. Akianza kukuambia utamwambia ngoja kidogo hii yako ni nzito. Wacha tuombe kwa hii yako. Kumbe wewe una kitu unapitia. Na Biblia inasema we are passing through. Na ninaomba ya kwamba anything will come against you this year, you will pass through. Au utakuwa mandani, you will pass through. The Lord will enable us to go to the next level. So, number two word is to observe. Observing here inamaanisha you take your time keenly kuelewa hii kitu inamaanisha nini hapa inamaanisha nini unajua ni hatari sana utoke kwa kanisa kama hapa na ufike kwa nyumba uulizo walisoma kitabu gani na ujui si unaona hata kuna mtu ameshangaa pale nyuma anasema ai hebu uliza <laughs> ni hatari i let sense ati umekaa tu hapa kutoka asubuhi hata kuna script hata moja kwa mfano niki nikiuliza kitabu ya kwanza tulisoma ni gani unajua tunaweza kuanza kuwa na utata na nyinyi kwa sababu <laughs> We are forgetting the word of God very fast because we are not observing it. After observing, we must go to the next point ambaye nditabadili maisha yetu. Ambaye wengi tufiki huko. We know what the Bible says. We see it, but we don't. We don't do it. It is until you do it. Doing it, it will now become your portion to receive. Bwana asifiwe sana. So pale inasema namna gani? Endelea this day, eh? Uh-huh. Blessed and it shall no, and all this blessing shall come on thee. Ambia mwenzako baraka zinakuja. Hawajasema wewe ndio unaenda kuzileta. Hii inasema ya kwamba the blessings will do what? These blessings shall come on the Nana naomba 2024 baraka ikuje. Ama unataka kwenda kuileta? It is God's will. Hey, unasikia hiyo maneno mtumishi wa Mungu? Gladys unasikia hiyo maneno? Ni mapenzi ya Mungu when you are in good direction with God with excellent spirit. Eh? Anita unaona hiyo maneno kweli? It is God's blessings yote zitatafuta Anita kwa wapi? Because it is packed for you. Hata mtu akisimama kinyume na wewe zinakuja tu. Na nakuombea katika jina la Yesu wacha zako zije katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu it is yours the Lord has packed it for you the year 2024 mimi naomba katika jina la Yesu tujaleta bana bado the year 2024 wacha mapenzi ya Mungu itendeke katika maisha yetu but the greatest thing we want to do let us serve God with the spirit of excellent Hebu angalia mtu mwambie tafadhali usisukume mwaka huu atakuja mapema Usikume mwaka huu sijuingia maombi. Wachana na hiyo vitu. Kuwa tuna excellent spirit. Yesu asifiwe sana. Ehe, alafu inasema and overtake thee. Yaani angalia baraka zinakuja paka zinakuovertake Victor. Yaani unabarikiwa mpaka unaziona mbele. Uh, kuna mtu ajanipata nimeeleza ndio uelewe. Yaani zinatokea nyuma mpaka zinakufikia alafu zinakupita sasa ukiangalia nyuma ni baraka ukiangalia mbele ni baraka so pokea hiyo iwe portion yako but serve god with an excellent spirit bible imetuambia dharani if you shall hearken eh? if you shall if you shall hearken 
observe and do. Na sijaona mtu akiandika, wewe acha kuandika. Maana hii itakusaidia. Na hii ndio inasema ya kwamba in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 if this book of the law do not depart from your mouth meditate on it day and night so he the tronomy nasema pale and overtake shall overtake thee if thou shall hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god na hapa ndio mnaangukia mtiani wacha niwaonyeshe mahali huwa mnaangukia ujue pale nasema Shari ni nini? Rudisha kidogo mtumishi. Inasema if you if thou shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Sasa nikuulize swali. Mali ambapo sisi tunaangukia. Mali ambapo tunaangukia ni kwamba ukikuja kwa hii kanisa auoni kama hii ceiling imepasuka hapa mabati imepasuka. Alafu kuna mtu ameanguka hapa na kanzu. Anakuambia tengeneza njia Yesu anakuja. Hakuna Ule mtu utapata hapa ni mimi. Na ndiyo maana aupoke ile maneno Mungu anasema kwa sababu unaniona mimi. Si nimekueleza ukweli sasa? Hapo ndiyo mahali wewe umeangukia. Na wewe kama umeniona miaka 16 jioni nimekuudhi sana. Ah sisemi wewe nimekuudhi. Yaani unajua ukiwaona mtu sana pia huwa anakuudhi. <laughs> ndiyo maana mshirika mwenye anakuja leo nikimwambia God bless you. Anaenda anakuja kesho anasema mchungaji nilibarikiwa. Hata hii kidogo hii thanks offering ndio hii. Lakini wewe nikikwambia barikiwa unasema ah itaweza kalaji. Ndio kesho narudi tu bila ulikuwa. Yaani sisi ndio hiyo ndio kitu inatusumbua. Mtu mgeni naweza toka hapa niende nihubiri kanisa nyingine. Na nisimame na mwenendo niambia watu kila mtu inua mikono juu na nitangaze baraka kwao na simu zianze kunifuata zinaniambia watu wananiambia kwamba pasta ile maneno litangaza nilifanyika. Na ni mimi huyu tu lakini nimetangaza hapa sana sisikii ushuhuda hapa. Ebu angalia jirani yako ambie wewe ushuhuda ilienda wapi? Hakuna ni kwa sababu kuna vile umezoea mwanadamu. Na ndio maana Biblia inasema if thou shall not hearken unto the voice of God. Ebu waweke Amos chapter 3 verse 8 verse, verse number 7. Amos 3 verse number 7 lakini tutarudi tumalizie na hiyo as I close. Ili uelewe ya kwamba ni vyema. Ni vyema sana, ni lazima pia uweze kukubali kusikia maagizo ya Mungu kupitia kwa watumishi wake. Hapo ndio mtiani iko. Kwanza tukikosana na wewe kidogo na mwenye ujue hiyo wiki umepoteza baraka yako. Ukiniona unanichukia. Ukiniangalia uniamini. Nikisema God bless you nasema hata angesema tu nilaanike tu. <laughs> Ehe, sikiza hiyo maneno. Sema shuali. Sema na zaudi shuali. The Lord God will not will do nothing. The Lord God will do Wewe unaelewa hiyo maneno? Sema surely the Lord God will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets. Wewe ukisema mambo ya mchungaji wewe nimewachana nayo, I will face my God direct. Ah. Angalia <laughs> mtu mwambie ah wewe unadanganya. Unaenda ku face Mungu direct. <laughs> Siku moja Waliambia Moses, wewe ni nani unaongea tuna mungu peke yako? Hata sisi hui mungu tunataka kuzungumza na ye. Mungu aka, Moses ya kawambia prepare yourself. Mungu aka, Moses ya kawanda vizuri, akawakalisha mahali. Kitu cha kwanza kuona waliona the flaming fire pot. Nyungu, nyungu hii ya kawaida. Inawaka moto ni napita na mune jema waka iangaria. Ai, ai. Iyo ni nini mepita pale? The flaming fire pot. Hiyo ni preparation ya Mungu kuja kuzungumza. Kidogo wakaona mlima ina inama hivi inatingika tu yenyewe na mnao kasema ni nini hiyo? Musa ni nini? Ai ai. Hapo wakajitiatia moyo kidogo. Ha, kukalipuka earthquakes na thunder. Pa 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 kwa kila mahali. Lightning kila mahali. Wakasema Musa ambia Mungu tayari tumeshasikia. Tumeshasikia. Yaani hajaongea lakini wamesikia. Wakasema enda uzungumza na hevi la uwa unasema na hea lafu kuchu tuambia. Wewe tutakuelewa. So sometimes <laughs> ni vizuri kuelewa ya kwamba surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth the secrets unto his servants the prophets. Na ndiyo maana Biblia inasema kwamba ni kimalizia. Inasema, inasema, ili kitabu inasema aje, believe in, in God and you shall be established. Is it second chronicles amanini? 
Deuteronomy. Eh? Second Chronicles 2020. Eh, Second Chronicles 2020. Wacha tumalize na hiyo. Ndiyo welewe hii maneno. <laughs> Second Chronicles 2020. Usingojie mungu buwana. Mungu ndiyo hii anazungumuza kupitia kwa wanadamu. Surely he will reveal his secrets through his servants, the prophets. Na ndiyo mana takubariki. Angalia hile. Anasema na mna gani? And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood. Who stood? Angalia mwenza kumambia ni mungu. Jehoshaphat. Hapa Jehoshaphat ni nani? Sinimesimama na njimi meka hata njimi ya muoni ya ufunuo. And he stood. Na njimi meka. Then after Jehoshaphat standing before them, he said, Hear me. Alisema, hear God kwanza. Alisema, hear me. Eh? Oh Judah. Nyinyi Judah. Hear me. Mungine na alisema, mimi sita kusikiza huyo mutu. I will hear my God. Ah ah, hear me first. Alafa anasema, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe, but you hear who? Then you believe in who? Busa libia jirani yako mwambia so mapole pole baibo bwana. You must hear. Because mungu anazungumuza kupitia kwa his servants, the prophets. So you must hear the prophet of God as you believe in God. Bwana yesa sifiwe? Tuko pomoja sasa. Alafu, and believe in the Lord your God. Now when you believe in the Lord your God, what will happen to you? You shall be established. In other words, utadhibitika katika Kiswahili. Utakuwa mtu ambaye amedhibitika. Established. Eh? Eh? Believe his prophets so ye shall prosper. Angalia jirani yako mwambie, wewe jirani, ulikuwa na ngoja nini? Sema, mimi baraka zangu, baraka zangu zinatoka kwa mungu. Zinatoka kwa mungu ndiyo, lakini kuna formulas. Kuna mbitu mezingitiwa pale uweze kufata. If you don't believe in his prophets, you cannot prosper. Kuna muta naangalia na sema, ok, kuna maneno ni mehambiwa na manabiwa mungu, sijasikia. Alafu nafika maru nasema hui mutu. Hakuna kitu ananiambia. Unaona tu bila kukuambia kitu. Hivyo ndia huna kitu. Ebudu, angalia mwenza kumambia. Vile tu haku kuambia kitu. Vile tu huku muelewa. Hivyo ndia huna kitu. Maana, if you believe the prophet of God, you shall prosper. Tuko pamoja. Utanawiri, utaendelea, utanufaika. Ukisikiza na biwa mungu. Diyo mana biblina sema katika gano jipia. Yeye ampaye na bi. Kikombe cha nini? Cha maji. Ibu angalia jirani yako muambia. Wee kikombe ya maji umeai peana lini? Kikomba psi utupu. Kikomba mba ikona maji dani. Apano useme ya komba kikombe tu. Kikombe ya maji. Yeye receives the prophetic reward. He who brings a soup. To Isaac. Katikatia nani? Esau and? And Jacob will receive the blessing. The prophet is only waiting for a cup. Ndiyo mana hui mzali kwa pale lakini akasema enda tengeneza supu. Ulete. Taka kunywa ni kubariki. Sunge uliza, sunge muambia ni bariki kwanza ndiyo ni enda. Inamanisha lazi muwe na gamu. Angalia jirani yako muambia ukue na gamu. Mali manene kiongewa inakwama kwako. Una kikombe buwana. Una supu ya izaka. Na nani alileta supu? Alikuwa isao? Nani alileta? Baraka ilitoka ma hiku toka. So what was the main idea there? The legal right. The legal right. Kwenye mezaliwa wangapi? Kwenye mezaliwa wangapi? Uliza jirani yako ama ujiulize na uyo mgini. Mezaliwa wangapi kwenye? Ata kama ni kumi siyati unawagopa kusema. Ni wangapi? Unajua last bonds mara nyingi wanapokea baraka kuliko first bonds. Hapo mmeni kubali sasa. 
Unajua last bonds ni rahisi kupokea baraka. Maana last bonds bada na kumbuka mama. Ukiona last bond mwenye akumbuki mama hakuna kuna shida. Mwenye akumbuki baba. <laughs> so it comes. Au watu wanakuja wanachukua tu baraka. Alafu unabaki na title ya the first born with nothing. Maana it comes in after you receive what God has given to you. So believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. And finally, uh, if you serve God with an excellent heart, here to memorize, uh, the presidents and the princes did not like Daniel. Excellent reputation. Andika, when you have an excellent spirit, you will face a lot of envy. You will face a lot of envy. Na envy is kubadilishe. Kwa hivyo, wivu imeanza leo wa milianza lini? Wivu imeanza leo? Are we there? So I pray, may the Lord help us the year 2024 to operate and serve God with excellent spirit. Umai jiuliza katika kanisa mali popote hata kama ulikuja hapo weni mgeni mali ulitoka. Sinaona hata ukitumikia Mungu vizuri watu wanakupiga vita ni kina nani? Washirika wa hiyo kanisa. Maana ukiwa na excellent spirit watu watakuonea wivu. Na we nataka ukue mwakili sana. Unapoonewa wivu na watu weka bidii kuonyesha excellent spirit wakikunyonga tu kidogo upoteze hiyo nafasi you will never get it again so tumikia mungu fanya mambo makubwa and god will bless us can we stand up on our feet tuinue tu mikono yetu juu nataka tu tuombe mungu tumwambie father release an excellent spirit in us we are ready to serve you inua tu mikono mwambie tu mungu ni asante then we shall make a prayer together baba ninakushukuru katika jina la yesu kristo we worship you, we love you because you're worthy to be glorified in this place and on the days of our lives we shall worship you, we shall glorify you Jehovah. We shall thank you Lord, thank you even for this night, this evening God for speaking to us concerning serving you with excellent spirit. Today we are worshiping you, we are living because you are there for us. Worship as you can come, we worship God together in the name of Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We worship you, King of glory. We worship you, King of glory. We thank you, Father. In what to me, Koneako, you. Hallelujah. To Nakua, to Nakua.
Mpenda kila mmoja akaweze kuminulia mikono yake. Just speak to the Lord mwambie kwamba I pray that you may create in me an excellent spirit. I may serve you with an excellent heart. Ndio tu sauti yako zimuza na Mungu mwambie Bwana. I need to serve you with an excellent heart. It is time for us to move and serve God with an excellent heart. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus Christ. We worship you Lord. We lift you Jehovah God. Father we worship you tonight. We worship you tonight Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father. Let your will be done. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Mwambie Mungu mwaka huu ningependa kukutumikia with an excellent spirit. This teaching is not just in vain. May the Lord use it to clear your atmosphere to serve him very perfectly. Nyosha tu mikono yako mbele za Mungu mwambie Mungu ninakuomba. Nitembelee siku ya leo Bwana. Nitembelee siku ya leo Jehovah. Na kuinua Yesu Hakuna kama wewe Bwana Na kuinua Yesu Wewe ni mfalme wetu Okay asifu Bwana Haleluya Nakupenda Oh Ni wewe Niwewe Bwana niwewe Niwewe Bwana niwewe Niwewe Bwana niwewe Niwewe Bwana Unainua watu wako niwewe Niwewe 
Wewe ni Alpha na Omega. Tumekusanyika mahali hapa tumepokea ushauri wako kabla tuondoke katika nyumba hii kuelekea katika makazi yetu. Ninaomba kila mmoja aliyekanyaga mguu wake mahali hapa aanze wiki yake na ushindi. Hata wale ambao wamechukua nafasi yao kununua bundle na kufuatilia ujumbe huu kwenye internet hii mfalme ninatangaza baraka katika mifuko yao na maisha yao isiwahi pungukiwa. Bwana Yesu ni asante kwa sababu ya kila mmoja. Naweka waimbaji wamekutumikia katika madhabao neema ya Mungu iandamane na wao. Kazi ya mikono yao na ibarikiwe. Familia zao zibarikiwe. Hata walioshughulika na mitambo ninatangaza baraka juu yao. Nguvu za Mungu ziwafunike. Wale wamesimama katika chumba cha media katika nyumba hii ninatangaza baraka za kifalme uwabariki na uwainue kila mmoja hata na wageni ambao umefika katika ibada ya jioni ya leo ninatangaza wabarikiwe in the mighty name of Jesus i pray and believe amen amen piga yesu makofi mazuri lafu salimia mtu mwambie ubarikiwe sana